Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually add the approval steps and to actually add the approvers within your Jira service management projects. Now, this only works for service management projects and for company managed projects. To do this, I first need to go you need to go to the project settings and within your project settings you want to be around your request types and within the request types I have well plenty of requests here request types and you already know that each of these request types or maybe for those who don't know uh, each of the request types within the Jura service management projects is tied to issue type and to a workflow. Now, in order to add the approval step to the uh, your specific request type, you need to edit its workflow. So, we're going to go with this documentation update requested. You're gonna go here and in order to add the approvals as you can see this is the workflow right here uh, a bit uh, complex workflow I have to say but it's fine all right so first of all what we need to do is we need to add this and uh, the good thing is in order to add your approvals you need just to edit it you don't have to uh, go and copy this workflow then apply it to the project and everything else you don't need that and uh, approvals are added based on the uh, based on the workflow itself so as we can see right here, this is where you actually add your approval step, where it says include approval step. And within this project, we can already see that this has been done already. So if we actually click on edit here. So first of all, what it's going to ask you is you have the options in here, where for the approval step, your first, you can define it in three ways. A specific number of people, a specific number of people from each group or everyone. Now, you don't want to set for everyone to be the approvers right there. Because that means that um, someone can actually approve basically everything. Even if some things need to be rejected, they get approved. This almost sounds like uh, when you're doing the pull request and almost every pull, re pull request gets accepted and your code crashes and your production is gone. Yeah, so that's really bad. So there is like this uh, specific number of people, then there's one person who is doing the approval which is all right and then you have the approver source you have two approver sources one is the jura field and another one is affected services mostly you're going to select the jura field and the approvers when we go to the next so this is what happens so select the transition if the everything is approved you're defining here what is actually happening here to which status this is going to be logically when something is approved then it's go it going to the approved either status or something as uh, something else if you have I don't know successful approval that's a too long name for the status or, or just let's stick to the approved and uh, if it's declined 
then it's going to be the decline also so you can exclude exclude the approvers from the reporter what actually this means that the reporter is uh, himself or herself uh, they cannot basically uh, do the approvement so they cannot approve or decline their own requests which is which is something okay to do right so you can do it in here as well and what happens is you make a checkbox in here you're selecting a specific number of people but let's say that for this one I need two approvals right and I'm going from the uh, Jira field I'm going from the approvers or so there is like multi-user pickers so those are the approvers authorized viewers or the manager right where you actually need to get the approval from the manager themselves I can put here the manager so what happens if this is approved then there's more statuses in here because there are more transitions from this status and I can say this is going to the escalation this is going for uh, respond to the customer resolve this issue in progress and everything else so if this is like approved I can say you know resolve this issue basically it's this transition right here I'm going to say that and select the transition if actually this is declined I can say cancel this request and I can exclude the reporter as well so this has been added now in order to make an effect here I need to publish this draft because otherwise the work the workflow and the approvers it's not gonna work all right so for the engineering support there we have it so we can do a little bit of a uh, testing right here so I'm gonna click on the create I'm gonna go with the uh, documentation update requested so there is like uh, use request type fields I'm gonna say no nah, not really I'm just gonna oh there are more fields that I need to fill in then okay let's go with the uh, summary I'm gonna say test of course let me see if there are more required fields priority it's not gonna be something that is critical okay so this priority scheme right here this needs to be like simplified like uh, medium uh, medium high low that's it that's basically it but there is something there is called informational yeah okay interesting it's like oh this ticket right here this is just the information if it's just the information and why is it here why is it there why does it exist you know there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of okay there are a lot of fields in here that's a lot of fields okay so and there we go it's saying waiting for one approval and you need to add the approver here and one approver needs to be added in here so if I'm gonna say you know what Yelena Grant needs to approve this and when Alana Grant does this okay and then it's gonna be like this is approved this can actually go uh, go into the next status so that's that's how you're actually adding your approvers right there but so if you actually do this from the 
customer point of view because this is like doing this from the uh, from the agent point of view basically it's gonna be the same why because the initial status is going to be the waiting for approval and when your users are actually creating the requests within the uh, within the portal they they know what they're looking for they know what kind of request they're going to create and since they actually know that there needs to be well additional approval approver right there who is going to add the approvers right there well the agents themselves can actually add the uh, approvers right there because yeah sure why not or or it could be like to create the automation rule that is going to do this but i would say if the agents are already there to actually solve those issues and for some of those issues there needs to be approval from someone from above let's say from the manager and if the manager approves certain kind of a thing and it goes on if it doesn't it gets rejected now the customer might ask well why this has been rejected or something like that right so one idea would be if something was rejected then to actually reply to the customer that it was rejected and everything else but you cannot say the same thing for each request right it's a common sense you basically cannot do that and since you cannot do that every request needs to have a different response so yeah that is uh, that is uh, the thing that I wanted to discuss about the approvals that's it uh, don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video see ya bye